hey students, I'm sorry I'm not here today, but tomorrow we're going to have a fun activity where we meet in the library and do a breakout box. Now you might be asking, what in the world is a breakout box? Well, if you have ever been to an escape room, it's kind of like that, but where you, you find clues to solve riddles and puzzles in order to get out of the room. In our case, however, instead of us getting out of a room, we're going to break a prize out of a box. The box looks like this. It's a long metal box, and on the front, it's got a place to put a bunch of locks, and Miss Reed, the librarian, is going to have it all locked up so that you have to undo all of the locks to open the box. Now, how does this work? You'll notice that the box on your screen has a little blue dot on it. Each group, so there'll be a number of groups, each group will have a specific color that matches their box. This one is a blue dot box. So this group will go around the library and look for clues that have a blue sticker on it. If you're a red group, you'll look for clues with the red sticker. So you'll go around the library, you'll look on the shelves, on the tables, underneath the, underneath the tables, and you're going to find all your clues and then bring them back to your group. Once you have your clues, you put them together, you have to solve puzzles, solve riddles to get the answers. Once you get the answers, those will give you information in order to unlock the locks on the box. So we're going to show you what kinds of locks there are. There's a number of different ones. We're going to start with the number locks. The number locks have either a four digit or three digit combination so that the clues are going to lead you to three or four digit numbers. The way you unlock these ones is you can see the numbers on three different sides of the lock for both of these here, here, and here. You're going to line up the numbers once you think you have the solution. You're going to line up at the edge of the lock and put your number in there in order to open those locks. The next kind of lock that we have is a combination lock. And this lock is just like if you have a locker, you do the same thing as, as your locker. And the way it goes is you've got to turn it a full turn to the right, turn it clockwise to just kind of clear it out, to get it to reset. Then you keep going clockwise and hit it on your first number. Then you switch direction, go counterclockwise past your first number, stop on your second number, then switch directions again to land exactly on your third number, and that will open the lock. If you have a hard time with that and you think you have the right combination, Miss Reed and I will both be in the library that we can help you do these locks if you need. And the next kind of lock is a directional lock. This lock doesn't have any numbers, it only has arrows. And you put in a combination by having some combination of up, down, left and right. So when you're putting your clues together, you need to find some answer that's got a pattern of clues. How many arrows? Could be anywhere between 4 and 20. It's not going to be 4 and it's not going to be 20. Now, if you start putting a combination in and you go, oh shoot, I messed up. I hit a right arrow when I should have done a left one. How does the lock know that you need to start over? Well, you reset it by double clicking, just like that, once again. Just click it down twice and that resets it. Before you start, just go ahead and click it twice, and that way you'll know that it's starting with a clean slate before you do the directional lock. The next kind of lock is the lock-in key. This one, the key is not hidden, it's being guarded. Ms. Reed, the librarian, is going to have your key. So in order to get the key, you're going to find a secret password that you have to give Ms. Reed. So for this one, for the key lock, you're looking for a password to get that key. The rules of this are, of course, you must stay with your group. You do have to work with your group. You can't be dead weight, contribute, help solve those puzzles. We'll need people to find clues. Somebody will probably need to get out their Chromebooks to go online. There's a lot of different things that will help you solve those clues. And of course, have fun. Please get to the library as quickly as possible when class starts so that we have as much time during our class period as we can so you can break out the prizes inside these boxes.